It is Discovery Monday. We are testing a new app today, which is called Web Studio. If you have never heard of it, Web Studio is a competitive Webflow framer and all of these apps, it look the same as well. If you are looking at the landing page, it looks like a very easy to understand website builder, no code website builder. It uses similar features like combo classes. All of that is something that we know. So that's pretty good. Currently, they are still once again in a very early early stage and so you have some of the features that are available they have the roadmap right here that shows that we have some CMS collections that are coming soon which is pretty good multiplayers real-time collaboration and interactions and animations that are coming later so I'm gonna keep that in mind while I'm doing the review what is the price free the price is pretty good if you have in the free version the ability to have five different projects with five different custom domains if it's like connecting your own domains that is great compared to the other tools pro and custom open source builder that is interesting if you want to host the app on your end and do something on your end you can that is great the only thing that then will not happen is updates and new features and all that let's jump right in when you arrive on the interface for the first time i'm going to do a bit of a review of what we see what we expect and what we think will happen as always similar interface as usual but a bit different we don't have a sidebar we have a lot of resources intros tutorials docs community social media at the top which are useful and then you have templates so you can start with four of their already built templates and a big ass blue button to create a new project. So you have the logo in the top left and my profile in the top right. I'm gonna attempt to not compare to Webflow too much, but it's such a copy that I can't really resist. You have the exact same tag to define what is currently selected. You have the breakpoints in the middle with a preview of what size you're currently seeing. If you want some really specific factors Values, I'm guessing you can type in. It looks like Adobe XD, I agree. You have the plus to do something. You have pages, I'm guessing. Something else, similarly to Rive, which I will dunk on Rive every day. Rive doesn't have tool tips to explain what the fuck you're about to click on. And right now, I don't know what I'm about to click on. I'm expecting things. You have bug reports right there, and now you have tool tips for fucking some reason. Whatever. You have CSS previews. I don't know what that, if that's good, but that's interesting layers, Canva, and then style depending on what is selected. If I'm selecting nothing, I have no inspector. Layer list, inspector, same behavior as usual. Let's see. Can I type F for frame? No. G for group, R for rectangle? No. Cool. So keyboard doesn't work. It is not Webflow. This is Web Studio, which is different. So if I click on the plus, we have the components with everything inside. Blocks, and then you have pages, images, which is assets, and then that thing, which is welcome to Web Studio. AI. I have a feeling that the AI would be more interesting because it's the direction in which we are going. So just for the sake of that, I'm gonna go for it. What do we do? What are we trying to do? Create a landing page for a design studio. That's usually what we do. Page for a design studio. Of course, purple and style is professional. Visual sounds weird. Let's see. Already purple. I love the code animation. E. Okay, so it cannot build a page. Fine. So for the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna do block by block. And now we have purple here. Yep. Can I command Z twice? Create a collection with a heading, subheading, that. It's a predefined, so I can do that. It proves that AI will take over jobs of things that are not really, can I say that, creative just yet. I want to see how it behaves when we have multiple prompts next to each other or back to back. If I select the body now and create a two column section, feature section underneath, is it going to be next to the box inside of it or further down? It's further down. So that's better. Technically, we have body selected every time you want to create something create a team section with three people in it very subtle very vague it goes after the first one but not where it's supposed to go interesting ai generation of blocks and sections design wise is not great however let's explore how is it built so we have a box right here which is a div technically heading paragraph button this one is flex which is cover display block that makes sense you have a z index of 10 that is what 
automatically applied because it's not flex you don't know how much space you have in between your elements and i can't technically move them up and down because of that i would rather have that be in display flex column and that thing to have a max width or something but whatever this tool is not a design tool technically it's a visual code editor so you have things that are really code oriented your display your orientation your styles classes if you have some code knowledge complicated can that be a deviate yeah they all have shadow which i don't understand like the box shadow right here is not present but you still have a shadow now you have a box shadow right here which makes sense but not on this one i don't really know which one is creating that anyway from here it is pretty simple to understand as long as you have an understanding of how things are supposed to behave this one is weird the alignment section like how do i get flex space between that we just had i can't comment z enough no that is a that was space between and now it's not is it this one it is cool i wish we had names titles explanation of what is selected because the direction makes sense when you know what direction is but the wrap for me or at least from what I have in Figma should be in the direction it's one of the one or the other and then the justify content should be a selector like flex it's easier for everyone to understand this in one click rather than having to guess what is changing if I create a new thing called team name trying to do like a combo class type of thing with let's do black font off and so now if i just go here check team name yeah that makes sense it's the same behavior as webflow for combo classes which i appreciate overall it's pretty simple now i can just come here change the font style and it's supposed to affect everything for me at least in figma if i change the font color it's supposed to change right now it doesn't like it's not changing to black am i supposed to do that from here yeah i just created the style assigning the style to that title specifically that's what i'm trying to do but i can't change that i don't really have an edit option to me if i'm selecting the text box on which i created that style source i would expect to be able to edit that fucking thing from here but then it seems to not be the case this is weird i don't know the fact that my style team name is applied the colors right here are specific it's red that's for the text my text box is getting that so i'm thinking maybe i need to apply the style to the text themselves but when i'm doing that i'm not getting the colors as i defined i did i assigned the same style sources for all of my text values and for all of my text box value the thing is they are contradicting each other so there is something that needs to be pushed to my main style at least in my view to make sure that it works even though it's a copy of webflow there is no other tab with the tokens at least not here this is really not intuitive to me that's a lot all right so let's call that team i have that on the text this is specifying the color of the text colors if i change the color it changes but then it reverts to red i really need to understand what the fuck is happening but nonetheless let's select this one let's see apply team to this what happened nothing happened this is so weird if this is a copy of webflow and you can't even do basic css i don't get it and you can't really give me a learn more type of situation i wish i could edit the fucking css right there that would be way faster can i create a token without selecting an item no i can't i need something to be able to create a style source i could create that maybe it's the higher ups but i don't think it is holy fuck nothing makes sense so let's check the button and use the button as an example let's do that and create a primary button create a style that's the style the difference that they had was everything was blue which is what you said i do agree with that they were saying that this is coming from some somewhere which is not true but then if you wanted to change 
things, you can see how it doesn't change because now it's red. If I clear, I now have the ability to do that. So technically my local styles, which are global styles, is taking over everything all the time. Jonathan, yes, 100%. Local styles always last. This is good and bad at the same time. But yeah, you're probably good in terms of taste and all that. But what is pissing me off right now is that maybe the issue is coming from the website that doesn't recognize itself as something interesting. Right now I'm in drag mode for some reason. And if I click or release or right click, it doesn't really get out of that. So maybe I have an extension issue. I'm going to just try and refresh the page without ad blocker things. Sometimes it just breaks things. I'm still back with that. Cool. Now that that is selected, if I pick up that revert it what I see is that when I'm clicking on a token, it shows me what is specific to the token, which is in orange. But then when I modify, it's only working when I'm dragging. And then because I don't have a fucking right click to apply, nothing works. This is really bad. The design token, as they call it, are inheriting values from local, which makes sense. But if you have a design token and you need to update things from the design token, then you want to change the color and right now I want the color to be red it only works when I'm dragging when I'm releasing or stopping the movement it goes back to white and says no which based on the link that Abismo shared earlier which I should have kept open they say this style is on the current token but it's being overwritten by another token in this time the order of tokens matter so in order for me to get my specific token I need to clear my style from local which fucks up my entire thing. And then now I can use that to redesign the button that was previously made. What I don't like is that if I'm here and I have a style that I like, I can't get rid of local. I need to convert local to a token. And then from there, can I do that? So you technically can't create a fucking token on your own. You can't say that's a new token called Plop. No, you can't. You can only duplicate local to be able to get your token. That This is bullshit. No, you can't get rid of local you can clear the styles which once you clear the style they are not applied to the thing because they have a copy of local that makes sense but I can't delete it the advantage that you have is this to me is some sort of a massive advantage but in order for this to be a massive advantage it would need to have the app work at least as well as workflow at least but right now it's not the case so I think that concludes it overall. It's a pretty okay app. Like Web Studio is it an open source duplicator Webflow that you need to pay for. It's not really open source. It has features that are similar to Webflow but don't work the same way. And you can't have things that work. The AI feature is okay, but it's not working well. And the structure that it gives us is good, but the content is shit. So with that in mind, yeah, I don't know. You don't have tokens settings. You can't apply a token. You can't have something that takes over another thing. Like if I'm clicking on a fucking token, it's giving me something different. My local is going to supposed to not be that. This is supposed to be white because that's my local. But then my local copy, now it's fucked up. Yeah, this is so bad. All right, this is shit. Verdict of this thing. This app is not good. I don't recommend it either. I have a faulty experience because of the browser that I'm using. That's an option. We never know. Or the app is shit and that's about it. I can blame Arc 100% for things, but not the entirety of the app not working. That, that doesn't make sense. Anyways, if you have design questions, feel free to ask. This is great. If you are on Mac, Blocks app is one of the greatest options that you have with a one-time payment to yearly thing. But it's much better. It's not really a yearly thing. It's a license thing. So you buy V5, you get all of the updates of V5. You buy V6, you will get all of the updates of V6. If you buy V5 just before they release V6, you get a massive discount on V6 or you get it for free. The app has been amazing for almost 10 years now. I think I bought the first one in 2016 or 2015. And the first one was better than Web Studio. If you are interested, it's a Mac only iPad app, but it's basically Webflow, but native to your Mac and a bit more structurally constrained. 
a bit of an issue here. Nonetheless, this is, yeah, this is one of the better things. One of the reasons why I prefer blocks to Webflow Framer, you really own the output. There is nothing inside of it that is blocks.js. It's built, I think it used to be built on top of Bootstrap. And with that, you just get the thing that works. You have the ability to export the code. If you have the knowledge of code of CSS and HTML, you can just go in, edit the thing manually, and then get the exact detail stuff you need rather than using the no code interface. So I could highly recommend it mainly because of the fucking price. For the power that this app has, this is cheap as fuck. This is the cheapest app for no code like this. This is 99 bucks compared to Framer when you need to pay 100 per website that you create and you want to host. Could recommend that a lot.